Start the recording. Moaning. Um, I think I'm only like a thousand souls from leveling up, so we'll wait. What all do I have to do? Um, I think just heading to, uh, not there. Oh, are we on the final tombstone? We are. No. There we go. We're on the third. Yo, what's up, Raptor? How you doing? I'm sorry, Meg. I hope the storm ends soon for you. Alright, so, at this point in the game, we are deep in the shit. Such a pretty blood moon. Thought so. Nice try, Gramps. Oh! Yo, nice, Raptor. Just like a week from now and I could start looking up drawing tutorials and trying to learn to draw. I'll, like set aside a day each week for me to practice drawing on stream. It's gonna be great because I'll be the absolute worst when I start. I'm sorry, Meg. Ooh. It's a pretty sweet helmet. I like it. Stupid baby. I'm gonna shut you up. No crying allowed. Yeah. Look at the chat. Ia Ia Cthulhu Photogen. Ow! Damn it. Didn't quite get around that last corner fast enough. Hello, mademoiselle. I think you swung a little early there. So the way this area works is that every section has one of those bell ladies, and she makes all these enemies stronger, and she makes them respawn after they've been dead for a little bit. I don't think this big guy gets mad at me, so just gonna... Oh! So he doesn't get that mad, but he does try to kill me a little bit. Just don't want to touch that. Yo, what's up, Just Cause? How you doing? Nice! Always good to have testing done. What does she drop again? Ah, uh, bullets. I'll take it. The Mensis ritual must be stopped, lest we all become beasts. Oh, so these Mensis guys are behind the whole beast thing. All right. Let's stop him real quick, then. To what up tonight, Raptor? Uh oh, I died so many times right here. God damn it. Ah, got it. I wonder if you can hit that one. I'll kill the bitch. Don't think I won't. 
Alright, fine. I'll use this door. So that I can open that sh shortcut later. Oh, see, look, that guy was coming out of the floor. Because she summoned him. Oh, I missed the door. You an actual person? I think you are. You're praying, though. I'll let you be. Yahar Ghoul practices freedom of religion. You're allowed to pray to whatever you choose. Even the creepy Cthulhu monsters. It could. So fortunately, killing the Bell Lady also stuns all the enemies she powers up. Otherwise, that wheelchair guy would have shot me. That wouldn't have been good. I hope I don't lose all these souls. I mean, yeah, I got like 8,000 just by getting to here. But still, this is a lot to lose, even in this late of the game. Stupid baby. Hear it crying. Also, yeah, I'm totally killing you. Or are you just a statue? Dead already? You're something. Can't kill you, though. That is not dead, which can eternal lie, and with strange aeons, even death may die. Eons, but you know. I think I say aeons because of Final Fantasy X, even though it's eons. Anything right here? No? Okay. I'm actually getting kind of close to the next, uh, lantern. Not that far. There's all this nonsense, though. Hmm. I have one left. It's a gross sound, whatever that is. No Final Fantasy X is right. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit, another one. Woo, you do some damage. Good on you. And before these all respawn because of Bell Lady, and I get really upset. God damn it, I can hear the bell ringing. Um, Ia Ia Cthulhu Fatagan? Oh, no you don't. None of that. Alright, so that one respawns, but not the rest. Got it. Um... Ignore me! Yo, thanks fam! Nah, it's fine, May. If you don't, if you don't want to go out with him, you don't want to go out with him. It's kind of a dick move for a friend to kind of pressure you into it. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna leave. Bye, guys. I don't like you looking at me. Oh, man! All of you are back, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna go kill the bell lady. She's, like, right here somewhere, but so are, like, five other people. Oh, no, wait, is she down? I don't remember. Um. Oh! I'm gonna want to leave. Well, that at least got a few of them. Um, please don't... Bump me? Shit, too far, huh? Maybe? Maybe not? Bell Lady? Hello? It's an 
odd noise. I must have got closer to the other people so that they got depowered up. Quack it, duck. I'm sorry you don't like storms, Meg. Ah, here it is. Right here is a key. The upper cathedral key. So, um, hey guys, remember me? Got so lucky there. That's good at least, Meg. Yeah, you've mentioned it before, Meg. I feel bad for you. Please don't hit me with a statue. That went fairly well. None of that. <laughs> Happens, Macho. The Tiny Tenitris. What does that do again? Regrets the blue sparks that are set to surround the dark beasts. Eh. I don't know. Maybe it causes a little shockwave or something. Who knows? I don't. So, as I said before, though, how you doing? Is that really the best way to look at me? Or are you, like, refusing to look at me? Are you just keeping your head out of arm's reach? So that's kind of smart. Ah, most people got something they're afraid of, Meg. For me, it's spiders. Fucking fence. Hold on. Oh, it just goes through them. Lame. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. She's just kind of stuck there. She can stay there. Really doesn't like Nicolas Cage, apparently. The Cthulhu monster has poor taste. Really want to avoid that. So for anyone wondering, that's what's doing the laser. God, it's looking at me. I think. <laughs> Make please, you're fine. These are greater amygdalas. Oh, you get back here. I'm busy lighting the thing. Ha! Gotcha! I said, bitch. Oh! Hello, friend. Sorry, Meg. If I was where you were at, I'd give you a hug or something. I 
So I don't think the bell ladies respawn, or at least some of them don't. Now's as fine a time to test as any, I suppose. I only have like 52,000 souls. And 49 insight, god. The next thing I run into that gives me frenzy is gonna explode my brain so hard. Stamina up! Farewell, good heart. May you f Thank you, doll. I think I've gotten a few interest in blood gems. But what is the other thing? The other thing is insight, which is used in a special store and also affects a few other things. Ooh! Physical attack up. 0.95%, huh? I don't think I've ever actually slow poisoned anything up yet, so flop you on. Oh, that sucks, Meg. Hope you get a good night's rest tonight. Sounds like you could use it. Now I have extra attack when I'm fully healed and when I'm close to death. It's 90 degrees today. That's not great. I got anything new for the gun? I have! They're just as good as the other shit. Damn it. That's good, Meg. So I got a new air. Well, it's better than my air, so. You can kind of tell how strong a rune is by like how sharp the image is. So like this one is a bit faded at the top and bottom, whereas this one's really clear and very bright. So it's the stronger version. They don't seem to actually say anywhere. This is a better example where that rune is basically completely faded, so it's like the weakest one. And this one's like bright and shiny, so it's like the best. I think there's one level higher. I think that's the second best version of it. This is what I got for killing the old man in the wheelchair. Don't think I've read its description yet. A transcription of I is spoken by left behind great ones, allows one to make additional discoveries. I symbolize the truth Master Willem sought in his research. Disillusioned by the limits of human intellect, Master Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to line his brain with eyes in order to elevate his thoughts. Nope, Meg. Sounds like it is to me for some reason. Nah. Are you kidding me? It's past April now. I don't get rain until maybe December. I don't know, Meg. I do not know.
Oh wait, Ladak vials. No, but maybe you're hearing, hearing like weird whispers in the game or something. That happens. It stopped. We get a little static from the mic or something then? I don't know. Oh, I... Uh, save it for later. Do I even want to go into that area this t time? You know what? No. We aren't going to explore that area. Because I need to do a third playthrough after this one, so... I'm going to just try and kind of rush on over to the end. I think I'm hearing whispers too now, now too, Macho. Also, no, the Bell Lady did not, uh, did not stay dead. For some reason, I thought that specific one did. Are you actually gonna follow me? Alright, bring it on. What's this say? Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn. Find one and silence its harrowing cry. Maybe you hear the baby crying, Meg. Also, hey guys, look. Uh, for those of you who were around when I was in it, we're at the Hypogean Jail. This is where the lantern would be if it weren't broken. And tied with bells. Down there is where the two sack guys were, and now it's like three enemy hunters that you have to fight at once, so I'm just gonna go around that, because fuck that. I think that's the pig. We should go say hi to our friend the pig. He's... That's not a pig. Hi there, buddy. Or maybe it was a pick. And this is what the note said that I didn't uh, read when I was at the jail earlier. Behold, a pale blood sky. And this is kind of what they mean. Oh, fucker. Well, I think you answered your own question, Whitney. I forget, Does do new items pop up at this point? I feel like they do- there is, for some reason. These guys are kinda glowing, so they might be under the influence of a bell, but... They're also giving me souls, so I don't think they respawn. That's usually like a signifier in these kinds of games. Is if enemies respawn from an area, then they won't give you experience for killing them. All right, I heard a bell now. Honestly got lucky there. Is the elevator down? The elevator is down. And I know this item pop- oh, maybe it's up. I don't think I really explored this area like the last two times I played this. I think I just rushed the boss. I might do that now. I don't really know why I'm exploring. Oh, hey. It's right here. All right. I forgot about that shortcut. I'm going to use this shortcut. When I die, I need to swap bonfires. Oh, he's coming back. All right. Just gonna stare this way and actually pay attention. And then stare this way and actually pay attention. I thought so. I thought that elevator led to a secret area. Ah, it happens, Whitney. Oh, God damn it.
God. The enemies, when they're buffed by the bell, are so strong. Ah, uh, let me see. This teleports me to, I think, the other side there. I know you're gonna get me killed, but I'm gonna go for it anyway because you might have a blood chunk. It didn't get me killed. And it did have blood chunks. Oh, I forgot about this monstrosity. Alright. Hello, Legman. Oh, you're still alive. You're still alive. Down, boy. Huh. Nope. 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 Do it. 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 Ah. <laughs> Where the fuck does this put me again? Uh. All right. That's that's a stairs. I can walk that way. Bell lady. I think I'm also right by the boss now. I think that moves me closer. Yeah, the boss is right through there, I think. Yeah. I am definitely closer because I took that. Shut up, baby. Oh, I forgot you guys have the movement of the dogs, too. I forgot you are just legitimately awful in literally every way you could be. Ooh, they drop beast blood pellets, though. I, uh, I now like them more. Where the fuck am I? They're the Skella dogs. Yeah. Alright, I think he was being influenced by a bell. Yeah, he didn't give me experience. There's a bell lady fairly close then. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna make a run for the boss. Uh, I want to switch lanterns. Yeah, because then I can take the elevator and that'll let me do the warp. I can take the ladder down and I'm pretty much at the boss. All right. Eh, just enjoy your nap, doll. Uh, so I want you. Because again, I'll be doing a third playthrough, I think, honestly, maybe just like right after this one. Depending how I feel. So, uh, I'm not gonna do all the bosses as Nick Cage. I'm sorry, but the third playthrough I'll do. I'm gonna do all the bosses. I'm gonna play the DLC, which I've never played before, and has, have never put on video or in the stream, so... People who have been exposed to Bloodborne only through me, look forward to that. I don't think he has an angle on me right here. Whew! He's got a big gun, it would really hurt if he actually hit me. Look forward to the end. Yeah! I'm not... Exactly looking forward to most of the DLC bosses, I'm gonna be honest. 
But we'll also get the third and final ending in that playthrough, and that'll be fun. I look forward to fighting that. And the fact we'll be there for a millennia. Yeah, it'll probably take me a while to beat those bosses. Then again, not the only people I've seen fight that boss were not exactly great at this game. So maybe I'll be able to do it faster, hopefully. I also won't be getting drunk while play doing it, so... So, uh, you guys want to see the cool boss in this area? Because I do like this boss's design. I heard a bell. Hopefully, Macho, hopefully. I don't want to be here for two hours fighting a single boss. Behold the Mensis Ritual and its foul summon. The fact that it specifically covers the moon and nothing else is very interesting from a lore standpoint, knowing what the moon is. God, it's so gross. I love it. Graceful! 10 out of 10 on that landing. That is such a great shot. It like spoke to me in its foul tongue. The One Reborn. I wonder what one that is. Would have been great if I just knocked her off. It's got great music. Item. Take it. So basically, uh, the Bell Ladies, much like the other enemies in the game, will buff him and also throw fireballs, I think, at you if you try and fight the boss without killing the six of them first. Which is not a great thing. Don't know what move you're doing. I don't remember this mo boss a whole lot. Fucker. Yeah. How's it going, young Kakashi? Come on, come on, come on! Solidly in phase two, I believe. Uh oh. Yep. Ow. Ow. 
stay mobile. Are you gonna throw up, you bastard? Just cause, please. You know what? Body parts, Whitney. It's got flesh. It's not just a skeleton man. Tick. I want to do something dumb. I will gladly die here just for the dumb. Dick. Where are you? That's still gonna hit me up here. Fuck you in particular. Hey. <laughs> Damn you, baby legs. Interrupting my attack. Uh-oh. It's freaking out. Settle down. <laughs> Stop lifting out of my reach. You know what? I'll get greedy. Oops, wrong button. That should be enough. You want to do attack, front face? I want to shoot... I want to shoot the guy on top. Somehow that didn't hit. Bullshit. Yo, nice bang. Shit! It vomited everywhere. I didn't even notice. Damn it. Ah. If it hadn't vomited without me noticing, I would have been fine. It seems to have two different vomits from what I could tell. One that only affects like a close by area, which I thought it did, and then one that actually fills the entire arena. You have to run out so that you don't take constant damage. And apparently it did the whole arena one without me noticing. Ah oh, well. What can you do? Nothing could be done. Damn it. Call him the son of a motherless goat. There you go. This area gave me PTSD. This is not the worst area, Kakashi. If, uh, if this is the farthest you've gotten, trust me, it gets worse. The next area specifically. Well, technically the area after the next area. Fucking dogs. Are you kidding me? Dick. Gee, the one reborn. How come your creator gave you two vomit attacks? I do still find it funny that the baby is quiet enough that only I can hear it. So I sound like a crazy person talking about a baby crying here. I swear it's happening. It's real. Trust me. Ah, uh, that's a shame, Meg, but have a good night either way. Nah, it's fine, Meg. Hope you can sleep with the storm. Oh, hey, at least my souls are just right here. I love that even his hands have legs sticking off of him.
I will say, when uh, Team 4-Star was here, they did do more damage than me. At least when they beat it. I think they ended the stream here, then started the next one fighting it. Shit, she lived. I'm gonna have to wander down there and kill her. Oh, well. I can see her down there. Fuck. Did, uh... Did her robe lift up from the air of me swinging the sword? Because if so, that's really cool. It looked like it. Have a good night, Meg. Alright, so I have... I have two bell witches down here to kill. Bell ladies, woman ring a, ringing a sinister bell. Whatever their actual names are called. Did that one heal a bit? I think she did. Alright, that one didn't at least. Up, oh, it just vomited. <sighs> Didn't get the visceral this time, or at least the whale for massive damage. I like how the boss is big enough there's four sp spots to aim at, to lock onto. I am not stunning it like I did earlier. Ow, the big leg kicked me. The big leg on the hand. How many bosses do you have to worry about the big leg on the hand? This is the only one I know about. Got stuck on the arm there? No, that's another leg. Fucker. Shit. The deed is done. I was really hoping that second cannon shot would have killed it, but I can handle the single sword slice afterward. Ah. Well, this place looks weird and creepy. Hey, look, it's those silly guys with cages on their heads. Those silly goofs. A lot of the guys with the cages on their heads. A lot of silly people here. Oh, hey, look! You aren't, like, all mummified. You're still sitting there. Although it says you're a mummy. Shut up, baby!
And look, we're back in the lecture building. Alright, now I'm gonna head back to the, uh, the place. Come here, doll. Heading to May's boss, I was gonna cry. Raptor, that's the next one. Well, what is it? Very well. <sighs> Let me stand. After the shitty area before him. Um. And let's get skilled to 20. Farewell, good hunt. May you. Next all. How many of these do I have? Do that. Clips through your cape. I mean, you know. These things happen. They have so many weapons, though. How could some of them not clip? Mm -hmm. Raptor, please. I wonder if there's any significance to that grave she stands at. Hint, there is, but we won't see it. Wow, cr God, 20 for one chunk? That's a lot to ask for. I might do it later, just because I don't want to grind. Hmm. Okay. Yep. So we're actually really close to being done with the game, since I'm not really doing... Most of the extra stuff. I might do a quick run through and kill Amygdala just because I can. And because that should be fairly short, because he's honestly kind of a bitch. Good try. And because I think I've, uh, I didn't beat Amygdala either. Did you realize where his weak spot is, Kakashi? Because the fight's real difficult if you don't know that, but if, if you do, then it's not that hard, especially with, at least with the, uh, the Holy Blade, since it can reach. Yep, that's the one, Kakashi. Fucking zippers. Yeah, it's got zippers, it's got tassels. It's a whole thing. Also, I won't lie, pretty much the entire reason I want to fight Amygdala is just so that I can shoot his head with the cannon. <laughs> Ooh, another note. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. Neat. Fear the old blood. Oh, another note. This one hidden. Hunt the great ones. Hunt the great ones. Have the nobody symbol? I think it should. That seems about right on the top hat. The real question is not whether it should have the nobody symbol, it's should it only have one in the center or have them in like a ring around the hat? Oh, hello. One. Freehand digital drawing. I ain't drawing a ring of them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Another note. Three third chords. I. These things. 
which I should really go get the third one soon. The nameless moon presence beckoned by Lawrence and his associates, Pale Blood. Yeah, no, definitely not doing that just cause. Also, shout out to this giant that has, like, pyromancy for no explained reason as far as I'm aware. I'm real glad that stunned you. Hello. Oh god, I didn't even think about how a centaur wearing the cloak would work. Good luck, raptor. I mean, there's gotta be something up here, right? Hey, there's a something up here. Communion. That might be the best communion rune right there. Which is nice, because that's the one that lets me uh, hold more blood vials. Why? Okay, you drop onto the first floor. Like, why didn't you fall on me earlier? You silly. Um, I think that's everything up here. Except for the way out. So let's go the way out. I'm skipping one little thing, but... I'm also missing half of the experience for that one little thing, so, you know. Well, half of the context for it. Is there a little thing right there? Nope. Hey guys, does this place seem vaguely familiar? Raptor, no. Why you do this? Why you do this? Speaking of storms, there's that asshole. I think that might be it. Maybe not. Shut up, baby. Yeah, Raptor, Ugg is right. I love these monsters, though. They're real freaky. Wait, are you the one that... Hold on. Okay, good. I think one of them lets out the worm things when it dies. That's gross and icky, and I don't want to deal with it. Oh, hello. Yeah, can't you hear it just cause? Why is there a baby? Reasons. Wait, he's got a lot of spears in him. Oh god, can it? Okay. Ignore me, clock tower! Just the lantern. Let's go kill Amygdala first. Just so I can put off this area for a little bit. Anything to put off that area. Um, I want the Nightmare Frontier. So thankfully, I'm just going to run through here and not try to grab everything, because grabbing everything here is a giant pain in the ass. I wonder if because I visceraled that one, it didn't pop out the creepy worm things. So I'm pretty sure that one was the one with parasites. Oh, hello.
All right, so definitely a little over-leveled for this area. But I'm fine with that. Are you gonna chase after me? Yeah. I just... No, I should try and just ixnay you. All right. That was easy. Oh, he's in the church clothes. That's interesting. All right. So, even if I fuck up and die, those guys won't respawn. So... There's actually a cool spell up there, but I don't think I have the arcane for it. Just ignore the horrific eldritch abominations. They're just as scared of you as you're scared of them. Oh, but then there's this asshole. Also, it's faster to roll. Don't know why it wasn't. Ah, oh, that was easy. Motherfucker. Who did that? You? Were you the one that did this? Damn it. Those boulders deal so much damage. Then again, I guess I've been putting most of my levels into damage and not not dying. So they, maybe they don't do as much damage as I think they do. I'm just kind of frail. Which happens. It happens. And that was... There was like one more thing that really had a chance to kill me before I opened up the shortcut too. Damn it. Oh, well. Ow! Rude. Appreciate that you're the one with my souls, though. Uh, thank you kindly. We dropped something. Oh, really? The rubble got me? We only had a bloodstone shard. Lame. A trail. Damn it. Alright. So this is really the only thing that has a chance of still killing me before the shortcut. That thing. The stupid beholder mind flare thing. Turn around. I'm gonna sneak up on you. If it keeps coming forward, it'll, it'll see me, and that's not great. Oh, it turned back around, damn it. Okay. God, that built up so fast. This next area is gonna be such a pain. I might buy those bloodstone chunks just so I have less insight. So, I think I've said it before, but I'll explain again. Uh, the status effect that was put on me was insight, where if it builds up enough, your brain explodes. And the more insight you hold on you, the faster it builds up. Because you have seen too many things man was not meant to see. Seen things beyond mortal ken. I mean, you know, just cause. These things happen. Possible cloudy suffering. It's not possible, it's a guarantee. The next area will have at least a little bit of suffering for me. 
If not the next area, then the next boss. Because the next boss is just dumb and a pain. Would you fuck Amygdala? I mean, there's just something about all those eyes. You know, Raptor? And according to the game, when the Great Ones appear, they bless womb with child, so they're apparently DTF. I wonder what it is that's sticking up over there. Are those banners? Ship masts? I think the Great Ones are associated with water in this, so it might be ships out in the distance. The tops of churches? Who knows? Anyway, this is what Amygdala looks like, macho. Yeah, yeah, real neat entrance you got there. Damn, missed the dodge. Walked into it. Thought it would have exploded before then. All right, let's just regroup a little. Why does everything throw up? Stop a great one. Start. Stop barfing everywhere. Would you stop with the exploding lasers, bastard? Missed. Did I try and headbutt me? Give me your eyes! I think I made it mad. What you gonna do? I don't remember what this move. What did it just do? Sometimes it gets the laser to come back. Go into third form before I shoot you. Come on. I love your third form. That should be enough. There we go. My favorite form. Where it rips its own arms off to use as clubs. we go. We did it. We killed the god. We already did. Rom's an, uh, Rom is a great old one. Boop. Cannon so good. I've only played the game... I've only beaten the game once, but I've gotten most of the way through probably two or three times. What is it you and I've never touched the DLC yet. Very well. Let me... God, that gets an extra five on that one. Hmm. You know what? Sure. We'll go for the 30 skill. Farewell, Pure babe. damage. I think I've gotten a few more blood chunks, mostly from the other area. Three more. 
Hey, you know what I can afford with pretty much all of my insight? Those are the messengers just cause, which are how you leave messages for other players in this game. And they have pots on their heads because I told them to have pots on their heads. Level nine. Hell yeah. That's an A, uh, arcane stat thing. So this area sucks, because whenever that spooky clock tower has line of sight on you, or anyone else... It starts building up frenzy. Damn it. Damn it. Shit. These worm things are the worst enemy in the game. There we go. Maze boy or card boy? <sighs> they both really suck. That's a tough one. The salt is starting. Confirmed. Least I have chicken. Fuck all of you. Ow, my brains! Do I also just lose health with each spike? I might. That's rough. Just some McDonald's, Kakashi. Got some chicken selects and, uh, fries. I think they're just chicken strips now, but they were chicken selects for so long that I still think of them as that. Really? Still not chunks? Oh, fuck off, Clock Tower. Ooh, it is really draining my health that time. You know why that time was so mean about it. Oh, hey, a shitty eye room. I've just destroyed a pizza. This pizza sounds so good. Alright, prolonged exposure seems to start draining health. And, you know, frenzy buildup, which is honestly maybe more dangerous. Although it was draining health real fast. It still sees something. Just not me. At least it doesn't see enough of me. I don't see anything losing health, though.
All right, it must have seen me. Glad it wasn't hurting me, though. You fuck. You fuck. Oh, it's great, Kakashi. This area is completely wonderful and not total bullshit at all. They stay in line of sight of it. Nope. Alright, have a good night, Just Cause. Thanks for hanging out. Also, check out all the spider eggs, eyes, one of the two. Something's slowly dying. Very slowly. Glad it took its time falling down. Oh. It's like, I'm not gonna bother going that way. Guess, guess who has to bother going that way? Try to... Never mind. I'm honestly surprised that one shot them, because these spi spiders have a lot of health. Won't one shot you, but I can dream. Please don't fall. Shit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Christ, they do so much damage. They don't have a lot of health, at least. Honestly surprised this one didn't hit me through the wall there. Alright. Usually I just run through here, but you know what? That wasn't that hard. I remember the first time I played this. It was that hard. I think I saw a note over here. No? Alright. Yeah, they are, Macho. Spider spiders suck. Oh, hey, Shaman Bone Blades. Those are fun. If you hit something with that, enemies will start attacking it. So if I had nicked one of the spiders with it, the rest of the spiders would have started killing it. See? There is a baby. Woo! That's a big moon. The moon is close tonight. A veritable hunt unending. Alright. Good, good jump. Come on, HBI. Stop it. How did that miss? Bullshit. 
Ow, the tentacles, huh? I was trying to back away, god damn it. Fuck you. Same, Macho. Same. So now I have to run all the fucking way back. Because there wasn't a single shortcut or anything. Whitney, I'd rather have the other ones than the spiders, though. Oh no, a few more flies. Whatever will I do? Oh, and hey, look, all the spiders respawn because they're the worst. Stay on my way. Of course, the ones in the back drop first so that I can't just run through as easily. And they follow you forever! Like, they're still following me right now, I know it. Why do you have my souls? There we go. That time I got you. None of the tentacles, please. They hurt too much. I'm too new for them. Now, why'd you switch swords? The little one would have hurt, killed me. There we go. You'll stay dead, at least. Sedative. What we got here? Ritual materials, eh. On the plus side chat, only three more bosses till we beat this game? That's pretty cool. We're real close. Alright, listen, I would normally leave you alone, but you have my souls. So I'm sorry, little guy. Why do I have so many? I think the shortcuts are soon. Forget if this one... Are you the shortcut or are you the other thing? You might be the other thing. Nope, you're the shortcut. Alright, good. Man, wasn't it great when I died like three feet away from that because of the hunter right there? Love it so much. Need another one? Welcome, Woody. Very well, then. Oh, damn it, 300 more. Farewell, good afternoon. Oh, I know. There's people I need to check up on real quick.
How are you feeling? Sound like you're great. She's the same. You're the same. How about you? Alright, you're the same. Alright. Everyone here is fine. The thing hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Raptor. Uh, fuck it. Level 70. May you f You know what? I think up here is an item. I don't know if it's good or not. I think blue elixir makes you invisible if you stand still. Yeah. What does sedative do again? Oh, you know what? I bet it gets rid of frenzy if you use it. Kind of like how antidotes get rid of poison. Never even thought of that. It's actually a really useful item that I should use more. Shit. Yep. Ow. Alright, this is nonsense. Bye. What shot me? Oh, little crossbow guys. Damn it, and I sent the elevator up. Damn it. How you doing, Ross? You know it, Macho. He's a faint, faint, faint. Nice, Ross. What kind? Ah, nice for us. I never tried to mix them together. Just usually got peanut butter. Just some McDonald's from the lunch I didn't finish, Macho.
These guys got a cool design, but man, are they dicks. A dirty, damp blood gem. Hmm. Interesting. I believe that looked like it was for the gun, but I have trouble telling sometimes. Oh, it says blood tinge if it is. So apparently the elevator's down. The main reason I killed everyone was there was because I would have to call the elevator back down, but apparently not needed. And behold... The worst monstrosities in these ga in this game. Come on down. Half bird, half dog. I shall call it Bog. And that one's half dog, half bird. I shall call it Dorb. It's a bird. Something down there. I'll try and get it and probably die doing so. Yep. The dwarves are way worse than the... The... Burbs? Whatever the hell I call the other ones. The ones with the dog bodies really suck, because they fight like the dogs. Ooh, can cold blood. Dirt. <laughs> Fortunately, another shortcut right here. Right by the lantern I'm already using. I'll be dumb and try and get this item. Behold! That was probably not worth it, honestly. I'm just glad I remembered that you're supposed to try and sprint into that cage. I think if you jump for it that you end up, like, overshooting, bouncing off, and dying. Also, the baby is louder. We must be getting close. Creepy marionette enemies that have a lot of health. Was out of stamina. They don't heal me when I hit them either, even though they spurt out blood. Now for the worst boss in the game that I can think of off the top of my head. This rat oh, fuck. Some say Do you hear our prayers? No. We shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. <laughs> Definitely eyes on the walls. Bot Shadow of War, it's really fun. Fun for me too. I just haven't really felt an urge to stream it, even though I own it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the marionettes pop up in this fight. Pop back up in this fight. What happens if I just walk into you like this? Damn it. Alright. 
caged in her neck. My god. So the entire point of this is that he's a coward and just runs away the entire fight. So you have to lure him into a room where he can't run away. First one's easy, the second one's weird and confusing. And then you can actually fight him. He only has like a couple attacks, but all of them deal ridiculous amounts of damage. So he'll basically one-shot you, and you'll be like, Oh boy, I have to do the whole fight over again, huh? That's one! Oh, that's not right. Damn it. I was hoping the counter had been at zero right there. Oh, well. <laughs> so let's try that fight again. Literally, the only good thing about this fight is how close the bonfire is to it. <clears throat> All right, let's do it again. First, got to get him back into the room where I can fight him. Take some bullets. Oh, what do you know? He's being nice. How kind. Damn it. Are you kidding me? If I was an AI, that would have moved over enough to hit it. So the marionettes in the maze will slowly, uh... come back to life and respawn while you're running around in it, but the ones in here will thankfully stay dead. Fucker. Fortunately, in this first phase here, you can back away from him. Oh, you really going to do this? Are you really going to be that big of an asshole right now? Of course. All right, you. Fuck you. Try that again. Eh, I don't know, Raptor. I'm not the artiste here. Fucker. Whew, that's a lot, Ross. Oh god, the marionettes in here do respawn. I guess I've just never taken long enough here. I mean, he didn't try and tentacle me there. What were you trying to lead me into? I was really hoping that would stun you. Shut up. 
There we go. Really sedative? Are you kidding me? It's all the way at the bottom here. I don't remember this going so far down. be the only one down here. Oh! That is the highest ranking moon room. Didn't realize it was down here. That's good to know. That's the, uh, that's the moon. That's the, that's the moon. It is the moon. That's also the room that gives you the most, uh... That gives you more souls whenever you kill something. Just in general. I.e., if I ever wanted to grind in this game, it would be the best room. Hopefully I won't have to do that this playthrough. Absolutely, Raptor. Uh-huh. Did you really just run in here? You wanna jump? Oh, there's the mirror right there. Oh, God, how does this work again? I have to lure him somewhere and then jump down, but this isn't the right spot, I think. God, the fuck is this again? Oh! I have to lure him right into there. All right. You right, Macho. Usually, it's a huge pain in the ass to get him in there. There's, like, a bunch of... Like, he can go into that mirror and pop out in the bottom of this area. It's a whole thing. Are you really dealing this right now? Is this the... I don't think... Damn it, this isn't the right spot. where I'm supposed to go. Alright, now his fight is way harder. <laughs> Shit. Because he can do that. Heal, heal, heal. Uh, I think it kind of depends on what you think is fun, Ross. This game definitely isn't for everyone. But I really enjoy it. Pray slaughtered. Has a really good aesthetic going. Yeah, it does. I do really like the Dark Souls aesthetic as well. Especially the first one where I think they really had it kind of more consistently than the other ones, but... I can't say no to this game either. They're all real good. Except for Dark Souls 2, which is okay. 
And now look at this. I can wear the dumb cage head. Nick Cage in a cage. Now all the stupid marionettes are dead for good. This or XCOM 2. In my opinion, XCOM 2, but I'm also dumb, so... I also hated all the time limits in XCOM 2, I'm gonna be honest. I definitely preferred XCOM 1. Extra eleven damage. Farewell. Welcome. Very well. Farewell. So much damage. Yeah, exactly, Macho. And I don't mean, like, the overall time limit in XCOM 2. I mean the fact that literally every mission is like, beat it within ten turns or you lose. Neener, neener. I was like, ugh. Not a fan. Yeah, we are, macho. Behold. The final evolution. This game is all about the evolution of man, and there is no higher point than Nick Cage in a cage. I like how this game knows that the dog is such an irritating enemy, it keeps hiding it within the actual birds everywhere. Alright. So the question is, do I want to try and get a plus 10 sword? Because it is possible. I don't know if I've... I don't think I've done that on stream. Wait, can I even do that? Yes, I can. Just trying to remember what exactly you have to do. Alright, so... Definitely getting really close to the baby. Forget about the babe. Alright, I got stuck in the cage somehow. Cool. Go fuck yourself, game. The babe with the power. Thanks for putting the elevator back up top. There we go. How voodoo. Who do? You do. An inflicted organ. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Assholes are everywhere. It looks sleepy, honestly. The big eye keeps opening and closing. Glad you enjoy pink chat, Macho. It looks nice. Wow, 11 kin cold blood? I think 12 is the max. God, there's 
like four more of them. Oh, look, the flood. You aren't exactly wrong. There's a monster in D&D &D that is literally this. But I can't remember what it's called. At least in... Oh, it was in 3. I think it was a gibbering abomination. And, like, the picture of them was a little less elegant and they were green. But it was literally this. No! Mind flayers don't look like this. Mind flayers got the uh, face tentacles. How did you know? My god, it almost killed me. So close. I am almost out of healing. The noises they make are so creepy. Curse, tempering, bla damp blood gem. Probably because it has quicksilver in its blood raptor. Same reason everyone's got bullets. God. Oh yeah, by the way, these spiders have human faces. You know, that's a thing. Hey, you. Over here. You fuck. Would you aim where they're going to be and not where they are? God damn it. You. See me. Come fight me, but no one else. There we go. God damn it, I'm dead because of that. Got lucky. Yo, good luck, Ross. I believe in ya. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I started that too slow, damn it. Oh, that should have healed me. Low on healing. Need healing. I think there's more of the assholes with the things. There's the elevator. That's where I think I need to get to. What's gonna try and kill me before I get there? God, or do I need to fall, the fall in the hole? It's been too long, I don't remember. Oh! Nope, I remember what this is. Hey, that looks like a terrifying eyeball thing. Get the hell out. So for anyone wondering, that's the terrifying monstrosity that was in the tower that was driving anything insane that it saw. Alright, what's gonna kill me down here? God damn. Why am I still getting frenzy added? I went the wrong way. Hey, that does cure frenzy. Noise. Damn it, almost drank it in time. Wow, that thing gave me 10,000 souls for killing it. And Mimic. Only Mimic in the game. No? Okay. Ooh, a choir bell. I bet that's something I can't use. Is that the OG spider room down there? No? I'm not sure where that is. I think that's right before 
the asshole running away boss guy. They don't look like they're guarding anything, so just leave those guys alone. I should hopefully be getting close to the thing that lets me upgrade my item to plus 10. Okay, that was just me stepping on something. I was like, oh god, what's gonna kill me? Great One's Wisdom. Arcane Damp Blood Gem. That looks cool. Great One's Wisdom. Great One's Wisdom. Great One's Wisdom. I think the thing I'm looking for is actually on this little tower right here. They like stand on and stuff. I.e. basically if I didn't pull that lever right now, the thing in the tower would be killing me. Oh, it's right there. So really quick, because I don't have to fall down this way. A damp blood tinge gem. Oh, hey, that's for the gun. Advanced knowledge. Where the fuck do you bleed? Because I don't have to fall this way. Ah, oh, neat. Oh, that's always an interesting topic, Ross. May have to check out that game. I am almost out of healing. Here it is, the Blood Rock. I believe this is the only one in the game, if I remember right. Or that, like, one was added in the DLC or something. Which allows you to get exactly one weapon to plus ten. Why all the way back down to where what's-his-face was? Yeah, I am. All right, I'm just going to use one of these. And I don't think I got a plus 10 weapon the last time. So I think I should also get a trophy when I get it to plus 10. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yes. Really quick. Should read the description of the Blood Rock. And that bell I got. Oh, it wouldn't be in there. Silly me. A large, solid chunk that forms in cold blood. After death, a substance in the blood hardens, and that which does not crystallize is called a bloodstone. This is no mere chunk. It is nearly a boulder. Few bloodstones of such size have ever been discovered, even considering the combined experience of all the hunters. Oh! I don't see the bell in here. Bell? Oh, there it is. Invigorates all cooperating parties, healing them. Oh, that's cool. So it heals anyone helping you out right now. The sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators. Nice. If I had arcane, I could use the tentacle move, but I don't. Ah, fair enough, Ross. Really quick. So this will go from 190 plus 229 to 200 plus 250. An increase of 31 damage total. And trophy? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Not entirely sure why I didn't grab that last time. Maybe I thought I had to do something else for it. Welcome, what? Very well. I think I'll be able to beat the game tonight. That'll be nice. Yeah, Macho, the PS4 definitely did better in, uh, this console generation. I used the other bonfire. I'd have to sit through two elevators compared to just going through there. Hey, Ring Wraith, over here. Why did I not get any blood vials back? Please don't tell me I'm out of blood vials. Please, no. I'm about to go into the boss rush. I don't want to grind blood vials. Yeah, shout out to Sea of Thieves. Shit. I am out of blood vials. Well, shit. Good thing I'm not about to fight one of the last bosses in the game or anything. Eh, I've switched between the PlayStation controllers and the Xbox controllers too much to really have a favorite. Well, this is a very unfortunate turn of events. And I had just used all of my blood items, huh? Hmm. Great. I wouldn't have leveled up that last time if I had known that I had no blood vials. Really? bit. Uh, that guy's gonna start launching fireballs. So hey, you guys remember these guys back when they were bosses? I do like that the Souls games do that at least somewhat frequently. Have bosses turn up as regular enemies later on. Definitely does it better than Dark Souls 1 did, though. Shout out to the copy paste, uh. Taurus and Capra demons. I look a piggy! Our good old friend the piggy! You usually drop blood vials. Shove it up in there. Ooh, you didn't die. That's cute. Show me that pretty face of yours. Oh yeah. Nightmare Piggy. With all of its eyes. Ooh. Alright. I'm at least max blood vials now. Oh, there's an item right there.
Oh, hey, more bloodstone chunks. I might be able to upgrade the cannon another time or two. Although I should honestly probably upgrade the blunderbuss, because that'll actually be more useful in the boss after this one. Because we got two more bosses, fam, and then we're done. And then, I don't know, I'll start the third playthrough right now, I guess? Why not? Hey, keep chasing me so that the other one doesn't start a fight. I'd say so, Ross. Alright, I've got at least a lot of souls. So once I open up the shortcut, I'll just head back to the dream and buy as many blood vials as I can with them. See, that seems impressive to me, Ross, even if it was on easy. Okay. Oh, yes. It's giving me a lot of experience, good. Just gonna buy as many blood vials as I can. Gonna be way more useful than another level or two. Alright. Oh, there's four of you? That's weird. There's only supposed to be three. Over here. Damn it. Damn it, they didn't drop anything. They made me use two. That Mesavir does quite a bit of damage. Right. I've got like 50,000 souls. I should be able to buy quite a few blood vials. Oh, you're apparently facing this way. Didn't realize that. Oh! That one almost made it around the corner. Alright. No matter what, even if I don't make it back to the bonfire, I'm net positive on vials, and that's probably the most important thing right now. Ooh, that's bright. Real close to the moon now. What is that shiny nonsense right there? That's just a glitch. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. What you got? Okay, no, it's just wet and very shiny moon. Alright, this should be the end of the path. Oh, I can come back through here. Nice. Okay. It's not a moon. I mean, it definitely is. Trust me on this one. It's a space station. It's where the aliens have their home base. Oh, hey, one of them did drop something. Just didn't notice. Alright, I don't remember if there's another group of enemies between me and this shortcut. I don't think there is. I think it's just her. Yep, it's just her. 
How you doing? You don't seem like you're well. Yeah, I'll take care of it later. Just give me a minute. I think this is a blood I can't grab. Yep. I already have a Yosefka's blood vial. Shortcut. Now let's go buy blood vials, because... Literally all that's left in the game is two bosses, unless I suddenly decide to do extra stuff, which I'm not gonna. away. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let Oh, what am I doing now? Whoo, that one was close. <laughs> yes. Alright, hopefully I won't run out of those. That is a big attack up. Attack up just 15%. Think good here. Arcane attack up plus 18%. I would lose so much damage from that though. Blood attack up plus 21.6%. I don't deal any blood attack. Bolt attack up, fire attack up. Alright. One step closer to unlimited power! Fizzle coal attack up plus 19.8% weapon durability down minus 51.8 out of 243. Do it. Oh, those are the special ones where I can use them in any slot. Neat. I want to take a look at them then. gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. This particular specimen has a pronounced effect due to its extended state of dampness. Droplet blood gems are special gems that adapt to various weapons and shapes naturally, making them highly prized among hunters. Anything for the gun? Ooh, I could use them on there. Would make the gun stronger. Hell yeah. Nice, Ross. What game are you playing? I think I missed it. Just to make damn sure. Shadow. Oh, right, duh. I was I was playing on the hardest difficulty. Oh boy, that not as fun as normal or anything, and not in a like fun harder way. Just like a they have bigger numbers way. All right, boys, let's do this. Um, 
because I am tired of, of hearing that damn baby crying. I eventually have my own team of works. Yep. You are making me want to play that, though. I will definitely say that. Don't worry, ma'am. I've got this. Up we go. Hey, look. More of the cage hat brethren. Are we going to kill a baby? We're going to kill a baby. Oh, uh, look. It's a little stroller. Surrounded by rot and decay. This game is pretty mental? Yeah, it is. Behold, Mergo's wet nurse. God, that does so much damage. Nice. I was hoping that would reach. None of that. Great! Now there's two of them. Don't remember that attack. Good. Over. Damn it, didn't get far enough behind her. Frost, please. Good one. That is way more irritating than this baby, though. No. First try. Job well done. Peace and quiet. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Nightmare slain.
Really quick, I'm gonna take a quick break and use the bathroom. BRB. Damn right we did, Macho. Whitney had a sneaky enough sneak attack that I didn't even see it till just now. I'm assuming you're now fully here in the stream, Whitney. Alright, any chance... I don't think I did, but any chance I got more blood chunks to up the rifle a bit more? Oh. Uh, I could probably buy some. It's not like I'm gonna play this later, so I should save these or anything. I mean, I'm sure that's also true, Raptor. Should give me 15, 10. Really, the Great One Wisdom are only worth two? All right, and we have all three of the umbilical cords of which I will use none because we want ending two. Oh, you can get a blood rock from here. You just need 60 insight. God, that's so much. I think I've gotten about 100 this entire playthrough. Also, by the way, this place is on fire. The sky now looks like this. How are you doing? Hunter, you have come. Uh huh. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. A gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Oh, that's interesting. Good hunter. Anything else? I sense thee. Okay. Very well. Yes, Whitney. Don't trust her? Who, Whitney? The doll? You've got something on your head there? Oh! You meant end game. I was staring at my face like, oh god, what's on my head? What's on my head? What's on my head? Is it a spider? Oh god. Oh, no. You mean. It's Nick Cage in a cage, Whitney! Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> when I killed the boss that had a cage on his head, and I got the cage as a reward. Ah. Uh, but the doll in the game? Eh, the doll's trustworthy. So for those of you who don't remember the first ending, we came over here to this beautiful area we wandered up to the great tree where we were told Garmin awaited us. 
And he asked us if we wanted to wake up and have this terrible nightmare end. And we said yes. So this time, Good we're going to say no. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. All true. You He's not lying. Freed from this terrible hunter's dream. I refuse. Also, when he when you if you submit, he pulls out a giant scythe and cuts off your head while you're kneeling, which is real cool. But no, not today, Garman. Dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Because we still have one less, last boss to kill before the end of the game. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up. Rip Raptor. God, you can get a scythe. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. Ah, oh, such a good line. I do not have good enough gun. Good to know. Oh, maybe I do. Never fought him before. Oof. Experiment run. One will live and one will die. The one who lives will inherit the title of the boss. Ah, damn it! I'm waxing poetic here, Garman. Leave me alone. I love when you fire the gun enough you can hear the noise. Motherfucker. By that I mean I hate it. God. This is just phase one, too. Ah, dodge too soon. I'm absolutely gonna die. Rip Raptor. Damn. This anime ass ending fight. That's fine, Raptor. Where are you, Garman? I'm not done with you yet. Come here, you coward. Tonight ain't over till you're dead.
Garman, you dick. By that I mean you good person because you're actually doing the right thing right now. Things would honestly probably be better if we just listened to Garman, but you know. Get a little away from the wall. I don't like it. <laughs> Man, that's got such a large time up. I mean, everything in t everybody in town, it's the same for either way. So we might as well have what's best for us. I keep trying to shoot that, and I can't do it fast enough. God damn. <laughs> Raptor, please. Whew. Hey, turns out Garman, not a pushover. Hmm, who would have thought? An ending boss in a Souls game that's actually different. Who would have known? There's only one thing to do. I must be freed of my cage to beat him. I have no better if this is actually better or not, but I wanted to wear it. Come and face me, Garman, you coward. This dream shall burn. All right, yeah, Soul of Sunder can definitely be a bit tricky. I mean, those don't count, Raptor. I so healed. Soul of Sunder is at least a fight, yeah. Macho, no. I suck at Gwyn because I suck at parrying. Yeah, bearing definitely makes Gwyn a lot easier. And the Chandra isn't real. Exactly. I gotta get better at recognizing that one. Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. That's bullshit. Ah, uh, usually I can stun lock him. I am probably already almost out of blood vials. How? I was behind him. This is bad. I'm gonna have to grind for blood vials very soon. Ah, 
All right, let's see how he feels about this. If I could manage to parry him more often, I think I would actually be doing fine. You cunt. It's gonna happen, I swear, Raptor. So if I'm behind him right there, I guess he just instant kills me. Alright, still at max blood files, thankfully. Not for long, though. I'm doing better, though. Just gotta slam my head into this wall until I learn where the wall's weaknesses are, then slam my head there a few times. Also, man, Gearman's tall. Why weren't you sprinting? Damn it! I did the same thing again. That's a good move you got there. That should have stumbled you. I need to really learn when he's going to do that move, or I'm not going to beat him. Whew! I think the problem is I I am not used to fighting an enemy that's actually this fast. A lot of the enemies are actually a fair bit slower than you in this game. Gehrman is not. He is quite the speedy boy. I 
hate that when I do that too soon. There we go. How did that not visceral you? Come on, Garman, show me your true power. Show me what a hunter of old was capable of. I don't know if I should be hitting him right now or not. Show me some Super Saiyan shit. It only doesn't worry me because he hit me from behind, so he did more damage, I think. Plus that... Attack was one-shotting me earlier. And I am now out of bullets. Out of spare bullets, I should say. I tapped the button too late. You know what? No. Failed run. Must accept your death. Happens, Raptor. Also, GG Macho and Raptor. Good on both of you. So the problem is when I roll up like that, I have to take a second to stop or uh, or the character does the roll attack instead of the visceral. I just blew through like all of my bullets there. Whoops. Honestly, I feel like this phase is a lot easier. I thought it was follow that up. Ooh. 
Interesting, he faces the moon when he does that. Ow. So he does get new moves in that mode. Damn. I've only seen a bit of one Yakuza game, Ross, but it definitely looked interesting. Within the next couple runs, if I don't beat him, I'm gonna have to go grind to buy vials and bullets. I honestly think I'm relying on viscerals a little too much. Second dodge was a little too fast. Closer. Usually he fires his gun there. Interesting. Aha! Magic pistol! Ooh, I don't stun you anymore. That's dangerous. Ooh, that's right. You can super bullet and instant visceral me now. Missed. Damn it. Ooh, I don't know if I can visceral him anymore. Maybe if I run straight at him right there, I can dodge it. Nope. I just put me closer to him for the move afterward. I have no idea what to do against that one attack. Oh. Just gonna back up for a second. You do your thing. I don't know if that makes him more powerful or if it's just an explosion. If I can't visceral him in this phase, then who boy, I'm gonna have a rough time. Fucker. Just be safe. Ooh. 
I can, thankfully. Just harder, it seems. Woo! I was about to say, it looked like your glowy aura was being a little less glowy. Gotcha! Boosh! Prey slaughtered. The old hunter badge and 180,000 blood souls. Now for the ending. Ending two. Well, howdy there! Also, we beat the game. Behold, the great old one. Ah, uh, yep. Behold our fate. And my dog barking. Tis my wheelchair now. And so the hunt begins again. Bum, bum, bum. Honoring wishes. Hidetaka Miyazaki. I don't like this. I don't like this either. <laughs> But, uh, now we're playing the role Garmin did, as the old hunter. We really should have just bailed. We absolutely should have. Gotten out while we can. Exactly. Feels like this game should have another ending. Yeah, strange, don't you think? We should call a cab, yeah. Uh. So ending one, you wake up and everything's fine. This was just a bad dream. Ending two, you're stuck here forever as the guy that helps out the new hunters. But what is ending three? What would have happened if we had consumed the three umbilical cords? The three third umbilical cords. Find out. Next playthrough of this game, which i probably going to just start right now, because why not? Get a little bit of the early game out of the way. You know, just knock off the Cleric Beast and maybe our father gets coin real quick. Ending threes, we don't even shen set show up. Yo, GG Mancho again. I am so glad I beat him without having to grind for more blood vials and bullets. The creepy music box.
literal last shot as well, by the way. You know it, and I had only one blood vial left. But that was a really fun fight. That was, that was a good one. Also, fun fact, if you beat him, the next New Game Plus, that badge I got, lets me buy his cool-ass scythe. I don't have much to say, it's the credits. Woohoo! You know, like, just... Actually, can I skip this? Alright, idiot me. Of course I can skip the credits. Whoops. Signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. I find it weird that FromSoft really doesn't do, like, any lip flaps at all in their games. Like, even in the cutscenes. I can get them not doing it for, like, the in-game characters, like, oh man, you know, random McGillicuddy doesn't open his mouth up and down when you can barely see it anyway. Will we still be Nick Cage? In this playthrough, as I run and see how much the scythe is worth, uh, we will be, but once I start the new playthrough, we'll be someone else. Nick Cage's saga is over. He resides within the Hunter's Dream forever. Which lip flaps, Bacho, please? <laughs> ah, you found yourself a hunter. But for now, we are still Nick Cage with our one remaining blood vial, no bullets, and 180,000 souls. God, that is so much! No lewd pl police tonight. Apparently not. Go for it. Can be lewd all night long. Oh, thank God. So I know I said I'd start the other playthrough tonight, and I still probably will. But I want to see if I can buy the scythe and play with it a little bit first. Because I never have, because I've never killed that guy. Howdy who. Whew. They are beefed up quite a bit from a uh, new game into new game plus oh. if they can survive even a single swing of this big big damn sword it's a pretty sun I wonder if they just reuse that sun and some of the sky well no the sky looks different I wonder if they just reuse that sun for like Dark Souls 3 they probably did right 
Might be the same one from Dark Souls 1, who knows. Not that that's specifically a bad thing, I mean, you know, it's it's the sun, oh no. Really? Oh. Um, you know what? I guess the saw cleaver. I I didn't realize it would let me pick all this. I mean, why not? Oh, wow, I can buy, I think, all of the different, uh, ritual materials. Neat. Can I get... What's his face's... Oh, I can, <laughs> I can buy all that stuff again if I wanted. Literally no reason to, but... God, what files? How many could I buy? 204. Nice. Ooh, fancy ritual blood. It looks like a skull. The Burial Blade. A trick weapon wielded by Germin, the first hunter. A masterpiece that defined the entire array of, array of weapons crafted at the workshop. Its blade is forged with Sidrite, said to have fallen from the heavens. Germin surely saw the hunt as a dirge of farewell, wishing only that his prey might rest in peace, never again to awaken to another harrowing nightmare. For 60,000... I mean, we gotta play around with it a little bit, right? How could we not? I can get Garman's outfit. Created before the workshop existed by making adjustments to everyday clothing, it later became the basis for all Hunter's garb. The Hunter's emphasis on engaging beasts with speed and therefore selecting lightweight attire no doubt traces back to Garman's own combat style. Shall sure, buy the old man's clothes? I'm supposed to be him now. Because fuck it. Yo, nice raptor. I kind of like it. The hat could use a little fancifying. There we go. Fine. Be that way. Why do you have to be in New Game Plus to use this weapon? Damn it. Wait, does this not combo? 
does not seem like it. I wonder what gun Germin uses. A Marluxia run win. Uh, maybe the fourth playthrough. I'll play through on New Game Plus and have fun with the other weapons besides that one thing. A ding -a rifle. God, so cool. Ah, well. It was fun while it lasted. Alright. I think I'm done with this playthrough, though, so... Bye momentarily, YouTube.